Okay, let's take a look at how to do math symbols, math equations. Let's say I'm doing my learning journal. I'm going to click the Add Submission. I come over here to the online text and I type, this is the um, quadratic formula. Now you got your buttons across the top here. And over the far left, if you put your mouse on it, it says show more, bu more buttons. So if I click that, then um, if you just want to simply put a symbol in, there's this, um, uh, I think that's omega, if I remember right, uh, insert character. If I put mouse over this, it says equation editor. So let me choose the equation editor. And you can, you can put your mouse over these other ones and, and see, um, see what they represent. But I'll choose the equation editor. And you can simply type in just normal characters here. So you can do x equals. Now I want to do a fraction. And sometimes I forget the, the format of this. So if I come over to um, here, if I put my mouse over it, then it kind of gives me an idea. So I see it um, has the a, a slash. And... Um, Sometimes I just have to play with this to get it right. So this is sum of AB and integral. So to do a fraction, do a fraction like that. Now let me just show it. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna try parentheses. And it's probably not, it's braces, okay. Yep. One more time. There we go. You can see I'm not an expert at uh, TEX. I don't even think I t could tell you what TEX is. But I know how to play with this just to just see what I can get. Okay. Now if I put parentheses around to 1 and then space 2 does that. If I put braces around the one and then the two. Does that. So braces is what I want. Then I want negative B and we'll come back to the plus or minus because I don't know what it is to be honest. And then I do square root and I'm guessing braces again. So B squared, I'll come back to that, minus 4AC. Closing brace for the square root and closing brace for the top of the fraction, space, uh, beginning brace for the bottom of the fraction, 2A, closing brace. And I got negative B plus, okay, and then we got that. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, the question is how do I get to plus or minus? So if I come here and click plus or minus, it looks like slash PM. You can see this is really user friendly. Slash PM. Okay, so it looks like I got a plus or minus there. I'm not sure what that symbol is. Um, maybe I just need another space. Nope. Okay, now the second power. I don't know how to do that, so let's come over here and look. Assuming it has it. I can guess. Okay, I don't see any powers, unfortunately. So let me start doing some guessing. Let me do a carrot. Probably not the carrot. Uh, it is carrot. Okay. So that would be our quadratic formula. Um, if I click Save Equation... And um, then come down here, and and um, then we simplify. Okay, if I click Save Changes, then you see that um, even though it looks bizarre in there, it puts a symbol in my um, in my entry. Not very easy, was it? Okay, let me show you better ways. Okay, I'm over in Word. If you do an insert, 
And uh, there's two different ways we want to look at. I like the first method, but uh, it's your choice. If I choose the object, and uh, this would be under the Insert tab, and choose Object, then Object, I can choose Microsoft Equation. Click OK. So then to do the um, quadratic formula, I do X equals. I click this button so I can choose the fraction. Negative B. Need the plus or minus, so I come up here, choose a plus or minus. I need square root, so I choose a square root. B, and then I do my power, squared. Tab, minus 4AC. Tab again, tab again, and then 2A. And then just by closing this, it'll put it into your, your document. And you can click it one time, and you can resize it to however big you want. And you can put text around this. This is the quadratic formula. Most versions of Word, the newer versions anyway, allow you to save it as PDF. Um, so you can do a file and then choose Save As. And um, then when you when you save this, you choose the PDF version right there. And that'll be in PDF form. Now um, we can also uh, use this equation button right here. So if I click the equation, it'll put the equation here. So I can start typing x equals. Now I want the fraction. So if I click the fraction option here and choose this. The problem with this is tab doesn't work like you might think. So I have to actually click up here and then do negative B. And I'll choose plus or minus. Um, sometimes it takes me a while to find plus or minus. Here's a minus plus. Well, actually, it takes me a long time to find many items in this equation. Mainly because I don't use it that much. I use the, the, the second option we looked at, the previous option. And where in the world is the plus or minus? Oh, there it is. Very first one. Okay, now I need a square root. So I'm going to choose the radical option here, and choose the square root, then I have to click inside. Now I don't know if there's a way to do a, a squared, but if I just do simply b and then my care 2 minus 4ac, it'll change the, the care 2 to um, our exponent. And I come down here and I click 2a. Now this, you can... Um, choose different options on. You see how it's uh, centered here, or justified, I guess. If you do a line left, you can move it over like that. So, um, And uh, you can put text around it. Now, I prefer the this method we looked at in Word because I've used it for probably 20 years. <laughs> Maybe not quite that long, but it's been, been quite a long time, and so it's hard for me to change. Um, some people like this new format. Um, what you'll find with this equation editor here is this is in many, many different um, uh, Microsoft packages. And they've uh, went through and have put the equation in many different uh, packages now also. But anyway, that's different ways you can do math symbols.